trim it all out. I'm sorry. There's no way to do it with both of us in the, the picture. Picture. I need a I need a third cameraman somewhere. Any takers? I got crazy again. Yeah, she came on. She came on and said, "Look what followed me home." His name is Dino. Yes, he is purple. I he caught my eye, and I've been wanting a nine millimeter that is not as heavy as Sam. Sam is much bigger. It's, yeah, it's a little bit bigger. No, Sam is actually only a little bit bigger and he's smaller we're, in the muzzle. Where Sam, <laughs> where the SIG, it differs. SIG? From the This root, is a Ruger. Ruger. It's, the Ruger is, seems to be all plastic except for the, it's not plastic, I'm sorry. Glass filled nylon. Nylon. Um, this is a Ruger SC EC EC nine S. Um, holds seven rounds. Um, does come with a little fake magazine. Um, the fake magazine is for takedown purposes and for dry firing because this gun is supposedly. California compliant. Yeah, it has a magazine disconnect. So, and I figure it's also good because um, my dear husband Scully says that I should always keep a magazine in all of my guns. I don't like keeping magazines in my guns. Then I don't know if they're empty or not. So uh, half the obviously. time I forget to put a magazine in. Usually they are all, I never put them in my box empty. The only time they go loaded anywhere is if it's in my purse or on my body. The other thing too, the reason this is also, uh, we're gonna get back to the gun here. Is <coughs> a good choice for deep concealment is because it is so thin and light. I know she didn't draw this to anybody's attention, this holds 12 rounds. Yes, they are clear. Okay. That holds, oh, that one's got it. But you can see. Okay. That does not pop in and out easily. They're very close to each other in grip size or width. But the difference is when you load this with 12 rounds, Holy it cow, makes it's that, heavy. It makes that super wonderfully small light gun super heavy. Super heavy. To carry all day long. And if I put it in a jacket pocket, even just the way it is right now, let's just say I have it in a holster, I'm not going to usually carry it like this. And after a while, I start to feel it like on that side pulling me down. This one feels like it's going to be a lot lighter. And if I put it in my pocket and walk around with it with seven rounds in it, this is empty and it was filled and I was feeling it. This one's empty and it feels like it's in there with the rest of my stuff. Um, What's your, your primary carry is? This little guy. And the reason I carry this one is because it's concealable wherever I put it and it weighs nothing. Even loaded, it's like, no, it doesn't weigh very much and I don't feel it. I can keep it in my carry spot for eight to 10 hours. Nobody knows it's there and neither do I. I don't like mess with it all day long. I don't feel it. It's not on my back or, or heavy. It, it's not in a pocket and pulling down my pants. If it's in a pocket, it's right there. It fits into a pair of those um, running um, stretchy pants right in the inside pocket where most people put their license in their wallet or whatever. It's gonna be a little while before I can start carrying this thing, but I wanna get used to shooting it. So that is part of what we're going to do today. Today is gonna to be her first shots on this gun. And she'll give you what she feels and because you've probably seen dozens and dozens and dozens of videos out there by guys by, by guys maybe some by women i haven't seen too many and 
They're all saying the same things. Oh, it's grip, trigger. They're all saying, yeah, there's things like, oh, I like the gun, the grip feels good, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's fine. We all, it's the reason why you bought the gun, because the grip feels good to you. Okay, but shooting impressions are more important than just well specs and, and, and oh, the trigger feels good. Not just that, mm -hmm. okay? As a woman, you don't see too many out there saying, yes, this feels good for me, but I'm going to tell you, I don't think this gun was made for a man. Well, I can tell you. Well, well, okay, maybe a Metro? <laughs> Somebody with small hands. I'm going to show you something. Yes. The, uh... I wear basically an XL type glove, maybe 2X, now with the way my joints swell up. But that's, yeah, I pretty much swamp that grip. And the pinky's always in the breeze. I'm used to that. It, even on compact nines, my pinky's barely hanging on to anything. And even with these grip extensions, Oh yeah, well this one's easier because it's 12, we've got the extended bag. But even with these grip extensions, my pinky's still in the breeze. This is her, her SIG. Yeah, it's got the extension on. Okay, and you can see I can barely, I barely get my pinky on it. Most of the times when I fire this particular gun, my pinky's off of it. Um, it's, it'll jump off or what have you. Now for me as a girl, and the way I've been shooting for so long, even when I was shooting the revolver, okay. He's not here today. Uh, empty. Empty. My pinky has always been the holder on the bottom, okay. I don't hold the gun with the pinky. I hold it with these two fingers, and then I got the trigger finger, and then I hold it with... Just like that. <clears throat> so I am not with any of my weapons. I can yeah, I could probably fit my pinky up there. But turn it so you can see your hand right there. I can't see it when it faces up. But at the same time, I like it when it's down here like that. <laughs> That's more the way I think I'm gonna hold it. Okay? okay so step this way and point the other wall. Okay? Yeah. That is the way that I hold as a girl and with the smaller guns, even with Sam. Sam, I can get all my fingers on, see? But I'd like to put my finger down here and move down just a little bit. I'll put your thumb across the back. What are you doing? Do you want to shoot I'm my not, I'm not I'm trying. Do you want to shoot my revolver? Because you're using a revolver grip. <laughs> I'm uh, thinking about showing them the pinky, not the thumbs. Yeah, I know. <coughs> All my guns, I put my pinky underneath. It rock it helps me to keep from rocking the gun so much. Um it may be a little I think it's a people. little bit sturdier for me. It is not a, he's telling me all the time, you gotta put your pinky up on it. You gotta put, yeah, no, I'm gonna do things I, the way I, I have to do them to be, feel comfortable holding the gun. That's why as a woman, I think more women should talk to women about shooting because we do things a slight different way because we are women. And because, just because we're women, we're different. We're not men. Um. Let's go see what this is like to shoot because I haven't shot it yet. I got it yesterday. I cleaned it. Um, yes, yeah. I am on my team. I've cleaned it. I've done everything. I've read all of the instructions in the booklet. The booklet's right here. Yeah, she, she reads the instructions. Oh my God. I, I, I read every single page. I know it all. So um, I never the read it. only thing that this book did not tell me was how big my barrel is, how much my gun should weigh, any of that kind of stuff. And a lot of my other books have told me that. Yeah. The one good piece of information with this uh, with this book and with this gun is the ammo ammunition choices. Uh, it says to 
That you can use case plus four. key occasionally, and that will increase the wear of the gun. Yes, we all understand that. And to never use plus B plus. That, I would say, is good advice. Um, a lot of people don't listen to that. There's no regulation on plus B plus. There's no Sammy specs. There's, it's whatever the manufacturer feels is hot enough that it won't blow your gun up. But who the heck knows what they're doing. So I've always stayed away from plus P plus loaded ammo. And I almost rarely use plus P anything except for 38. Oh, something else. Yes. The gun only came with one magazine. So we went to our local gun shop who had them readily. I could get the extended mag, which I didn't really care for. I think it held, what, three more rounds? Yeah, it's like a nine round. For $45. I got two magazines with the pinky extension or without, and it was $66.99. Then we looked online, and it's approximately the same amount of money, maybe a dollar more or two. And we are supporting our local gun club. Our yeah, gun as much as I like store. to shop online for some stuff, if I can buy it locally, even if it costs me five bucks more, I don't care. I'd rather support my local gun shop. They've been, they've been great to us. Yeah, 66 is wonderful. Yeah, we, we shop at... It's called 66 Sporting Goods in Clarion, Pennsylvania. Actually, it's Shippenville. Is it Shippenville? It's Shippenville. If, when I look it up online, it tells me Clarion. So it's Clarion. <laughs> okay, well, it's let's... Shippenville. Yes, we are in Shippenville. I'm sorry. But Shippenville, Pennsylvania. Um, it's on Route 66. It's an awesome place to go. The people are wonderful. They're nice. They'll talk to you. They're they don't helpful. treat you with their noses up in the air or, you know, like you, because you don't know something. They are really good. And they have a lot of women there, which is really great because you get a woman's frame of mind. A woman's point of view. Yeah, point of view. Not just a man's. They have men, but there's a lot of women there too. They run the store as well. And they are... A great, great place. Husband, wife, There's daughter. a bunch of shooting or sportsmen's um, stores. Yeah. In and around us. Some chain um, stores, some small independent ones. 66 is the place I go without fail. If I want something or I see something in one of the other stores, I want to hold it, whatever. I go to 66. 66 knows me. They'll talk to me. They'll well, tell me if there's a problem with the gun. I don't know where you guys, where most people are from. I mean, uh, on my channel, most people are from the U.S. Uh, around here, we have a Dunham's Sporting Goods. Um, that's a good store, but, you know, there's really not too much I can say bad about it, except that <coughs> when you go to look at a gun... The first thing you have to do is pull out your license. Yeah, they want your driver's license. That's fine. If you want to be that way, that's good. Then I want to try the trigger. I can't. They will not remove the gun locks. Well, how am I supposed to know if I like the way the gun fits in my hand if there's a big, nasty block of metal over the trigger where I can't grip the gun properly? I don't know how you're going to sell anything unless you tried it somewhere else and you saw that they had one cheaper. Well, I don't know. I'd and rather do... I'd rather do my business with a mom and pop owned, and literally it is, mother, daughters, and